Hey guys, it's Mishaba and I never ever thought I'd be making this video because my attendance was crap because I had senioritis. So now that I'm at the bare minimum for attendance, if you want to know how I did my hair, makeup, uh, my outfit, and all that glamorous stuff, then just keep on watching. Boo, did I scare you? Right now I'm just trying to prep my skin because I'm a dry bitch. And yeah, did I scare you guys? Because whenever I wear this mask, I just feel like I look like a serial killer. Now that my face feels hydrated, we can finally start off with the makeup. So first, I'm gonna dab the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden all over my eyes. Hey, you see my nails? Do you see that? Do you guys like it? I feel so fancy whenever I have nice nails on. I'm gonna take some of the eyeshadow primer and put it on my under eyes because I need my under eye concealer to last for a long time because I look so tired. Now I'm going to set my eyelids using the yellowy shade of the Kat Von D. I barely have any of it left, but let's kiss the last remnants goodbye. Now I'm going to get into the less boring stuff, the eyeshadow. But first I'm going to go into Hunty. Sorry if I sound really boring, that's because I'm just really just in the zone right now. I just want my makeup to look good. Now I'm going to go into some of that brownish red from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Putting red in the crease is kind of a scary move because it can easily look like I just got punched in the face, but you know, today we're taking risks here. I hope I don't regret this. This is starting to look as red as my pussy. I'm going to go back into Life's a Drag and then I'm going to go into the shade Snatched and put that all over the crease again, just making sure the eyes look super red, but like not too red. I don't know, man. We're just BSing right here. After millions of years of blending, we're gonna go back into the eyeshadow primer and we're gonna go on a flat shader brush and we are going to cut the crease so our gold can be poppin'. We are going to blind everyone. I'm gonna spritz some setting spray so we can blind these hoes. I'm gonna dip into the legendary shade and just put it on the inner portion of my eye and this shade is fire. I'm talking like fire. You barely dip into this and you will blind everyone. I'm starting to low-key wish I shaved my face because the more you look in the mirror, the more you realize how ugly you are. Next, I'm gonna go into this darkish golden -y shade. It looks kind of more like a shittier version of like the gold, like not like shittier as in like a shit, but I mean like actually like, you know, the same gold with like a hint of shit in it. Like it looks a lot darker. Now going back into Life's a Drag, I'm gonna go into Mud, 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 Mug. It's Mug. Forget that, it's Mug. And I'm gonna go into a bit of the black shade and I'm gonna deepen up the outer part. Oh my god, when I went to pick up my Jaclyn Hill palette, I shipped a nail. Do you see that? She was so beautiful. She was so loved. It was right on the middle finger too. Good thing I took an Instagram picture before it chipped, so it was worth it. Now for eyeshadow, well, I'm gonna go back into this bloody shade from the Jack and Hill palette. It's like this bloody red. This is the lower lash line and after that we're done. And this look is so extra. I'm low-key scared. Oh my god, I just chipped another nail. Look at it. Now I'm gonna take this orangey reddish shade. I'm gonna put it more on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna keep buffing in random warm colors and just seeing how it looks. I'm just BSing it along the way. I didn't really plan this out. I'm gonna highlight the inner corner with the gold shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I'm gonna highlight the brow bone. And we're finally done with the eye. I'm gonna do eyeliner right now. I just feel like this gets scarier and scarier. I'm just like... Once I'm done with the eyeliner, everything is just going to be so easy from here. So putting on falsies is like actual skill and that's something I don't have. It's like an actual talent. I don't know how people put on falsies and even when I do put it on, it takes me like an hour and like usual, I'm always running late. So instead of falsies, I'm just going to put on a boatload of mascara like way too much mascara and let's hope that works out so when i wish i had the ability to put on falsies but i don't i go in with my simply naked beauty mascara and my l'oreal telescopic and this combination is really good it's really close to as if you had falsies on so first i'm just putting the gel part of the simply naked beauty now i'm gonna go in with the fiber part of the simply naked mascara this is super extra and falsies are definitely easier than this but I don't know anything about falsies now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal telescopic yes this is the third step of mascara oh my god 
And now I'm gonna go back into the gel and we're finally done. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna fill in the sperm cells. I call it eyebrows. I got my eyebrows done and it made no difference because I have no eyebrows, which is pretty sad. finally drawn my eyebrows and I feel like a new woman now. Now I'm finally done with the eyes and the eyebrows. Those are the scary parts and now we can just relax the face. This is the simple part. I'm using my Too Faced Hangover Primer and this stuff feels so good. It feels like a lotion. It feels so moisturizing and this is gonna get me through my actual hangover because Girl, you know what happens after prom. Now I'm gonna use my Herborean CC cream and this stuff is so good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna use this as kind of like a primer because CC and BB cream tend to have priming benefits and I want the most full coverage I can get and I want my makeup to last for a long, long time. So I'm gonna use a CC cream under my actual foundation and this is gonna help everything last longer and it's gonna add a lot of coverage. And this CC cream is so cool. It comes out white and then it blends into your skin color. It's so crazy. So this foundation broke me out, but it's such a good foundation. I don't wanna stop using it. So that's why I put in extra primer CC cream type of thing in hopes that it doesn't break me out this time. And instead of using like a typical beauty sponge, I'm just gonna use my hands because I want a lot of coverage. And I feel like beauty sponges, they just soak up a lot of the products. So I'm just gonna use my hands. Now I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I am going to conceal my eye bags for all the all-nighters that got me to where I am today. And I'm gonna just blend that out with my finger because there's no shame in that and this just, this is way faster and I'm already running late because I am always running late for everything. Now for the places I wanna highlight because I, I am very dull. After four years of high school, your face, you just start to look and feel more dead. So we got a highlight. So I'm taking a concealer that's one shade lighter. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind. And I'm just gonna put a little some on my forehead, on my nose, and then I'm gonna put it on my eye bags. Now I'm gonna set the concealer to make sure nothing moves. Now to really get all up in my face, especially my fat ass forehead, I'm gonna use this Kabuki brush from Wet n Wild. This is the shit. Now I'm gonna contour my ass because after seeing that chocolate fountain, girl, I'm gonna need all the contour I can get. I have not eaten the whole day just so I can stack up on the food because I paid a good like $200 for this shit so I gotta get my money's worth. Now I'm gonna contour my fat ass nose. Now I'm gonna put on some Kat Von D Lolita. This lipstick is so pretty and this will last forever so this is the perfect shit to put on for prom. Now I'm gonna set my face with the Mario Badescu so I look a little less like a powdery fake bitch. For blush, I'm gonna go into the Tarte Blush Bazaar palette. I got this shit cause it was mad cheap. It was on a Christmas sale and girl, it's Tarte so you know it's gonna be good. Now I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula highlighter and I'm just gonna put on the high points on my face so I can look like a really sexy glazed donut. And on top of that, I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Last just so everything stays on the dance floor. I just took the braids out of my hair and we're finally ready to get the fuck out. For my dress, I got this shit from JJ's house and okay, so about online shopping, don't do it. If you have the option, don't do online shopping because it was just a disaster. So for the shoes, I'm just still wearing sneakers underneath because no one's gonna see my legs with this long ass dress and I just wanna be comfortable, so. And I'm gonna be busting my ass on the dance floor. Ain't nobody got time to wear heels. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I didn't bore you guys to death. I just, I thought it was pretty fun. Try to hang out here and there, see me fuck up here and there. But yeah, if you wanna see more shit like this, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.